Hello, hello, this is Knut from Knutech, and today we are going to take the look, a look on Lenovo Thing ID Pad 330 and talk about its looks and feel. Now, let's begin with the boot up test. This will boot up in about less than 30 seconds. And it looks pretty, pretty, pretty well. And I don't mean already inside Windows. I'm going to talk about the specs and stuff. But right now, then we're back with the Lenovo ThinkPad 330 review. This version of it is, uh, let me find the associated menu. And the associated menu is Sorry, a little rambling here. It's the Lenovo EtherPad 3151KB model. It actually means it has 6 GB of RAM. It uh, has an Intel Premium uh, Add Pentium. Sorry, CPU for 41.5U, 2.30 GHz and 2.30 GHz. It, it runs Windows 10 Home Edition. Pretty fast computer for pretty moderate uses. And talk about it it's i also have the scandinavian model of this so scandinavian keyboard has literally has three more letters in the alphabet than the british or american version of this computer um is it a good all around computer it's mm, it works for gaming um, that, but it should not be a main gaming rig. Uh, it works fine for gaming, um, but the main property that makes this PC good is more writing, typing, kind of video content, watching things basic web browsing and schoolwork it will be perfectly fine a school pc to use with schoolwork or office work um, it's pretty fast it has one 125 gigabyte ssd with a um, terabyte of hdd uh, hard drives, so two hard drives. You can upgrade the RAM on it, I think. It it stands that it can be upgraded to 16 gigabyte RAM, but 6 gigabyte RAM is plenty enough. And works pretty fine. It has two each USB two ports or USB ports, USB three point oh one thing kind of two USB ports. I think it is USB three or it's one USB three and one USB two port. It also have um a 
and USB type C uh, port uh, making it very useful for connection telephones with USB C and can also be used to extend its capability. It has an um, Ethernet cable connection, cabled Wi Fi, cabled internet um, cable port, and also has one HDMI port, standard size. Uh, it has no CD driver, but it has the room to install a CD drive on the side if you choose to do so. It also it has a 15 ish. It's kind of I think it is a 50 ish. I will take and this. It has a 15.6 HD display. Yeah, I had kind of to check the box on it because it's 15 point something uh, screen. So it's very large, it's pretty light to the size and it has numerated keyboards and it works pretty 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 well and only two points I am not very not very happy with or I'm a little mixed bag it's trackpad it's really hard in dark to see which side of the trackpad you have the finger on and the second part of it is that it has a bad camera. It has a 2 megapixel camera. It works for Skype kind of connections. I, it works, guess, but the price makes up for it. It costs a little bit under 5,000 Norwegian crowns also. Also about three, maybe four hundred dollar. Three, three, four, five hundred dollar around, and so yeah, but it's a mid-range model, and it feels really well. It has not been overloaded with software. It's not been overloaded with software pre-installed. It has some pre-installed software from Microsoft as the Office Pack and stuff like that. And for some reason it decides that Candy Crush should be installed too. But it has some first part Lenovo software installed. like uh, Lenovo Vintage, Lenovo App Explorer and Lenovo Utility it has a pretty good speaker to be a mobile setup it has enough power to handle the most use sort of things so I give it a total score and my scoring system goes from 0 to 100 and I will give this computer a 60 out of 100, 60 out of 100 
for its overall performance. Yes, it has some errors. That's why I don't give it a hundred out of a hundred. I'm also counting in there that it is one of the best in mid range, though. I have looked at pricier computers while while I'm looking for computers, and a lot of them SSD. Yeah, it's fast, but it. I don't think it is worth. I, my personally, I don't buy a computer to six seven thousand with just a little bit over two hundred gigabyte SSD on it. Though, yeah, you can go pretty much, and it's not as expensive as Apple, but that's where it comes in with the two hard drives I already talked about. It has enough memory to do some pretty good work on the basic way. And kind of have to sh kind of have to connect my phone again to my computer, my USB Z Type C, and pretty well, pretty well working. And this was Knutek. English review. A review will be written in English on Knutek, uh, dot com. Um After this, it currently has a Norwegian review. Um, where I go a little bit more in depth. Please like and subscribe.